Hello everybody, welcome back to the amazing session on Excel or Sheets with ChatGPT and we are learning the functions and formulas on how to use uh, Excel or Sheets to, the, to its complete potential with the help of ChatGPT. So what we'll be doing is in the previous video, we understood on how to deal with sum, not sum if. So sum we learned in the previous video. In this video, let us deal with profits, profits or difference. So over here, if I go to my sheet on profits, I have got five different products. I have got its cost price. I have got its selling price. Very easily, I can get the profit by just subtracting the selling price from the cost price. Like in the first case of laptops, which I bought for 45,000 rupees and I sold it for 52,000, I have got profit of 7,000, right? Now, very easily, I can do this because there are only five or four rather. There are only four different products. But if I'm dealing with thousands of products, at a time, then it becomes a little difficult. And that is when ChatGPT can help me. So all I'll do is you just need to go to ChatGPT. I click on the new chat over here because I don't want anything recurring to go on. Right. And what I will tell ChatGPT is again reiterating what I had told in the previous session that we need to be very careful when we are writing our prompts in ChatGPT because they need to be super precise and they need to be exact. So I'll write my prompt in chat GPT that help me with a function to find profit if my selling price and cost price is given. So I just write this and it will tell me about a Python function. It will tell me about a function in Python. Why? Because I did not tell it that whether I'm looking for a function in Sheets or whether I'm looking for a function in Excel, anything. So it gave me a general Python function. But then what I'll do is I need to be very, very careful with my prompts. And that is why I'll just copy my entire prompt. I'll copy my entire prompt and I will rewrite it. Help me with a function in Google Sheets in Google Sheets to find profit if my selling price and cost price is mentioned. And then they are like, certainly in Google Sheets, you have to do blah, 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 blah. And all you need to do is use this formula A1 minus B1, where A1 is your selling price and B1 is your cost price. Okay. So this is how you can do it. I can use this. I'll paste it over here. Paste. Now it won't give me an answer. If I press enter, it won't give me an answer because my A1 and B1 is not the cost price and selling price. A1 is here and B1 is here. Right? So what I'll do is I'll just change it to A1 being my cost price. That is C4 and D4. So if I do C4 and D4. Then I get minus 7000. Why? Because I had to do not C1, C4, sorry, not C4 minus D4, but D4 minus C4. So I just change this and I get my answer as 7000, right? And now what I'll do is to get all the others, I just drag the arrow and I got my answer for everything. So whether it was one or it was many, I just applied my formula in one and then I just dragged the arrow and I got it for everything else. Let us see whether it is even working for the remaining cells as well, even if I write a random number. See if I write here 5000 and I write here 3000. I write here 6000 
and I write here 12,000. Let us see if it works. So I'll just use the same drag over down and yes, you can see over here also I get my answers. So I just put my formula once and then when I drag down, I get the formula applied to all the cells automatically. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll ask chat GPT for sample data set. Okay. So first of all, let us go as clear and as precise about what we are looking for. Okay. So we begin with thank you. Can you now help me with sample data set to practice the same function? And your Google is giving me, sorry, ChatGPT is giving me more and more, uh, you know, sample data set. Okay. So you can see, you, I'll just copy my A1 and A2. And see also, I'll copy the entire ABC columns. I'll copy over here, right? First of all, I'll just minus all of this. I'll go to my previous cell where I have put my formula. I'll copy the formula. I'll put it over here. I'll copy my formula. I'll put the formula over here, but it will give me 7000 because it is again taking it from the similar cell. And here I need to put, here I'll put my G5 minus H5. Why? Because they have put selling price first and cost price second. So first I'll put G5 and then I put H5. So minus, I'll just change it over here. G5 from H5. And I click on enter and I get my answer. Suggested autofill automatically for everything else. And this is how my function for profits can be done within seconds. Got it? So you just need to be very, very careful on the formula that you're applying that the cells that you have selected are correct and also you need to be super precise with your prompts in chat, chat GPT. Now, for example, if I want to <coughs> work on cost price from B column and selling price from D column, can I do that? Definitely I can. I just have to change the formula over here. Okay. But those are little advanced functions which we'll be doing late, later. So till then, I want you guys to practice as much profit formulas as you can. You know how you know on how to do it. You don't need to depend on anybody for getting the data sets. You can ask ChatGPT to provide you with the data sets. Just put your prompt correctly and you're all set. So again, coming back from the profits and sum we are done with both if you have been, if you haven't watched the sum video where we have dealt on how to open sheets and chat gpt please go and re-watch it also we are using sheets rather than excel because it's more easily available and it works on the internet and also because many people don't have the paid version of microsoft office okay the next uh, video is going to be about the if function wherein we'll be dealing with different kinds of data. Like suppose if I've got the manufacturing date of a product and the expiry date, I have to understand whether the product is, uh, you know, expired or not expired. So we'll be understanding it's going to be a little complex, but yes, we'll be doing it easily with the help of ChatGPT. So see you in the next video. Till then, keep practicing, keep learning. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.